All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today, we're gonna have a quick discussion about the next banner that global players can expect to see once the five year anniversary officially ends. I feel like this is something that's very important for people to know, especially the free to play players out there to help you guys properly budget your stones for the next few campaigns, especially for the download celebration that's happening near the end of August. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And as far as the end of the anniversary is concerned, we're about a week and a half away. I think the official date is August 10th. Today's the first, so about nine days before the anniversary is finally over. And then the download celebration, like I said, is happening near the end of August, possibly beginning of September. I don't think we've locked down an official start date yet, but it's definitely, it's definitely going to be around that time. And that means in between the two celebrations, there's going to be around three weeks or exactly enough time for a quick filler celebration. Or some people might want to call it a trap celebration since it's going to be Bandai's final chance to drain us of all our dragon stones before releasing some absolutely busted, super, super hype LRs during the download celebration. Yo, I don't know what they are right now. I don't know what they do, but I can guarantee you that those download celebration LRs are gonna be like top three, top five in the game minimum. Maybe the new best units in the game because that's just how it goes, man. Considering how busted the tech ultimate Gohan is that just came out on JP, I mean, I would only assume that the download celebration units are gonna be even better, even more broken. So. Yeah, I'm going to say most people will still want to make saving for the download celebration their priority. But anyways, getting back to the next banner on Global, like I said, it's going to be kind of a trap slash filler banner, even though it doesn't feel quite right to call it that because it's still going to be like a decent banner. It's still going to be a unit that most people will want. It's just the timing is a little bit unfortunate, right? So we have a couple options for that banner. It's going to be possibly this go tanks and boo dual token fest so if this comes out it's gonna be two banners at once or possibly we have the str kefla banner we have the tech transforming ultimate gohan we have the lr super saiyan blue evolution vegeta and super saiyan blue kaken goku banner or the lr jiren legendary summon banner now of course most of these just don't make sense. The timing is not right. And we can probably just rule out like this one because it's still available on JP right now. These ones are scheduled for the end of the year for like that thank you celebration we have every year. So most likely like end of November slash beginning of December for these guys. And uh, a dual Dokkan Fest right now also just makes no sense because we just had the LR Blue Fusions for a dual Dokkan Fest. We have another dual Dokkan Fest coming for the download celebration. So they're definitely not releasing another dual token fest in between. So we can just rule out all those banners. And the only one, the only unreleased banner from JP that would make sense for global right now is the STR Kefla banner. So I'm gonna say there is a 95% chance that the next banner we see on global is gonna be for the STR transforming Kefla. But did I say cooler before? I feel like I said cooler before. Maybe I didn't. But either way, I meant Kefla. Okay, Kefla. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Now, she's awesome. Okay, I want to be clear about that. I think she's amazing. She is definitely a top tier TUR in the game. One of the best, no question. And I definitely want her. But as I said, the download celebration units are going to be insane. So as much as Kefla is hype, as much as people are going to want her. I do recommend for you guys to exercise some caution when summoning, exercise some maybe self-control. I'm not the right person to talk about this, I know, but still, I feel like you should probably not go too hard on her banner. I mean, for the reason, number one, of course, because we have the download celebration, but also number two, her banner wasn't the greatest, okay? And it's most likely going to be this exact banner on global which means that the value here for your stones is not awesome, okay? I mean, look, these guys, still good, but they're they're really old. This guy, the, the tech hit, I think is actually 
pretty mediocre for a Tokon Fest unit. And this uh, 13 is actually really good. It's just people are not really pulling out their wallets for Android 13. Let's be honest. Like, it, it, it's a shame because he is a very good unit. But not a lot of people are that hyped for him, you know? So the only thing that I think most players, especially like veteran players, older players, will be excited for is this Kefla, as well as this Vados, who is a new secondary unit for this banner, and she's actually a very good support unit. So yeah, these two are good. The rest, kind of mid, right? So yeah, this banner overall is not awesome. And then there's the download celebration. But you know what? This is not a should you summon video or a you know, pass or pull video. It's just a what's coming next video. So like I said, I do think that Kefla has a 95% chance of being the next banner on Global, and we're most likely going to see it in about two weeks from now. Of course, I don't know the exact release date, but, you know, should be around two weeks, maybe a little bit longer, a little bit less. We'll see. So there you go. Now, if Kefla does end up being the next unit, then you guys will probably want to know where her details are, you know, what she does. So let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki, and we're going to quickly go over all of her details, from her passive to her leader skill, her links, all that stuff. For anybody that already knows what she does, feel free to click off the video now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. For anybody else that's still here, let's check her out. Okay, so her leader skill is Universe 6 Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Events plus 170%, or Rapid Growth, which is a brand new category. Q plus 3, HP Attack and Events plus 150%. Let's just quickly take a look at this category here. So, I remember there was quite a bit of uh, controversy or just a lot of anger in the community when this category was first revealed. And I guess I kind of get it. I think it was just the fact that like some, some units were missing or some characters were missing that should have been there. But overall, it's not a, it's not a bad category. Like, I'll say that like as far as new categories go, it, it could have been worse. Especially like, you know, after seeing like Majin Power and rapid growth. I'm just quickly scrolling through these. I'm not gonna really point out too many things because I wanna keep this video fairly concise. So there is the category, guys. You can build a pretty freaking good team with this uh, leader skill. It's just, um, yeah, there's definitely a few characters that are missing here. But uh, yeah, that's the new rapid growth category. And then for super attack, she raises attack, which is infinitely stacking. So every time she supers, she will increase her attack and she keeps that for the rest of the event. And then she also causes immense damage and lowers defense. So that's a 40% debuff to the enemy for three turns. Her passive is defense plus 100%, attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and high chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, with six or more key spheres obtained. And high chance, of course, is a 50% chance to evade enemies attack. And then she transforms when conditions are met and to transform she will just need to be on the third turn or beyond for the battle so that's super super easy to meet of course and then her links are saying warrior race battlefield diva fused fighter power bestowed by god warriors a universe six tournament of power and fierce battle and her categories she has 10 categories guys 10 categories in total peppy gals universe survival saga patara full power transformation boost universe 6 super saiyan super saiyan 2 uh final trump card and rapid growth okay so i think that's pretty much all there is to know about oh 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 also math quick maths her additional attack plus 50 percent is calculated separately for a total boost of 200 percent when six or more key spheres are obtained that's important that's important. Okay, so that is the base Kefla. Now, once he transforms into Super Saiyan Kefla, her super attack will raise attack, cause immense damage, and greatly lowers the enemy's defense, which is a 50% debuff for three turns. Her passive is attack plus 150% attack, or sorry, defense plus 150%, attack plus 150% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and high chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, with six or more key spheres obtained, and then transform when conditions are met. And then to transform, she has to enter the next attacking turn when HP is 60% or more, which is obviously super easy to meet for the most part. And you will most likely be able to get this Super Saiyan 2 transformation 
on the next turn she comes back and for the calculation here once again calculated separately so her total boost is 275 percent attack with six or more key spheres obtained now moving into super saiyan 2 kefla here her super attack raises attack raises attack causes immense damage and massively lowers the enemy's defense that's a 80 percent debuff for three turns her passive is key plus two Defense plus 160%, attack plus 160% when performing a super attack, and high chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, launches an additional super attack with six or more key spheres obtained. And she also has an active skill, which changes Fizz key spheres to STR key spheres, attacks effective against all types for one turn, and can be activated when there is a pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga category enemy. And for her links, she gets Super Saiyan, I think for Super Saiyan, yeah, for Super Saiyan Kefla and Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, they get Super Saiyan as opposed to Saiyan Warrior Race, okay? So there you go, that is the Kefla, guys. She is a absolutely phenomenal unit, man. Really, really strong, does a ton of damage, gets great defense, and overall, I mean, great animations too. If those are important, to, I mean, those should, those should be important to you as a Dokkan player. So great animations as well. And uh, just definitely a unit that I definitely will be summoning for. I really, really want. But once again, keep in mind, we have the download celebration coming. I can guarantee you those are going to be ridiculous units. All right, just mind-blowingly. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm overhyping them a bit too much. They're definitely going to be in the top five, though. I have a feeling. Okay, I'm just calling it right now. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe I'll be wrong. But that's just a feeling I have based on some recent releases. And... Uh, you know, I do think most people should be saving their stones still. That should be the priority, at least, for that celebration. But there's the Kefla, and that's that's the video, guys. That's all I want to say. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below, actually, if you agree with me. Do you think it's going to be Kefla, or do you think it's going to be somebody else? Or maybe some random, like, filler, you know, legendary summon banner with, like, older LRs. Who knows? It's hard to, maybe a step up? I doubt it. Possible, though. Anything is possible at this point anything is possible so quick disclaimer i don't know for a fact it's gonna be kefla i just think that it makes the most sense but yeah let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna be summoning for kefla if it ends up being her and how many stones do you plan to spend how many stones are you gonna be saving for the download celebration and that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching once again hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.